Hello there and welcome to this video. My name is Kevin and if you're new to my channel here I make weekly tips, tricks, and tutorials exploring mostly CSS but just front end goodness in general. And in this week's video we are going to be looking at how we can make a dark mode that is set through the system so we can easily switch it from a light to a dark. So I'm switching my system settings right now back and forth and you can see that it is switching between the two modes. So how we can easily set that up, CSS custom properties are our big friend on this, but you don't wouldn't necessarily 100% need them, but they just make your life so much easier for this. So let's dive in and see how we can do it. It is super simple. You're going to love it. I love doing this. Let's go take a look. One thing before we do dive in though, just about browser support. Browser support is not fantastic for this at the time of recording, but that's fine. I am using custom properties here. So if you are using that already, you're probably not worrying about IE or you're using something like post CSS just to handle, you know, making sure that it's all working. Um, but if it doesn't work for whatever reason, if, if the browser doesn't support it, you're gonna end up with your default color scheme and it doesn't really matter. This is just sort of like extra, awesomeness. So if somebody's on a newer phone or if they're on their computer that does have the settings like mine does here, we just saw it switching back and forth. If they've set it to prefer dark mode, they will be getting dark mode. And if their browser doesn't support it for whatever reason, or their system doesn't have dark mode, they don't know the difference anyway. So jumping into it here in VS Code, you can see here on my route, I have put a whole bunch of CSS custom properties. I've developed a color scheme here with a light, a dark, primary, secondary, and accent colors that I'm using throughout because I knew I just at one point maybe wanted to switch colors around. I set a foreground color to my dark, so that's my text colors, and a background color to my light, and that is this background color that we have right here. So you can see the light, or actually that's that background color we have down there. So throughout everywhere where I was setting up my colors, I was using my background, my foreground, and if we go further down, you can see more instances of those coming up. And in a few places, I did use my accent color or my color primary and things like that. So there are a few places where different colors were coming through, but as much as possible, I tried to stick with my foreground and my background. And this is where the real magic comes in. It's a nice, simple media query that we can put in. It is called prefers color scheme. Now for this, you can just leave it as the default, which means it won't actually switch things. We can set it to light. Uh, so you can do a light one if you want. And you can also set it to dark. So I'm going to put dark for this because we're going to be setting one specifically for dark, assuming just the default will be my light one that I have. And in here, once again, we'll go back into our root. And what I'm going to do is just for now, switch my foreground and background colors on that. So we can see here, the easiest way to do that is say my background is here. My foreground is here. Now this will not be perfect, but it will be a nice start, except how can I test to see if it's working? Well, I am on Windows. So in Windows, if you go into your settings, there's a color settings area and you'll have your default Windows mode, which mine was set to dark, but my default app mode is actually set to light. So I can switch that over to dark and look at that, a whole bunch of the colors changed except this color here didn't. That's because I'd set it up with a gradient using a couple of my other colors. So that does mean I would have to change a few other things in here. So let's do that really fast. And just like that, we can see it all switches over and it's actually looking pretty cool. So I did come up with a completely different color scheme here for my primary, secondary and accent, but my background and foreground here, I was just flipping back and forth now. So if we come back and I switch that back to light, I can see it's switching over to light. And if I switch it back to dark, the whole website is switching over to that dark mode. Super nice and easy to do, especially if you're using CSS custom properties. Now, if you're not comfortable with using custom properties, there is a link in the description that goes into a mini series that I did on that. It's a six part video series here on YouTube. Also, if you'd like to see how to do this, but with JavaScript instead, so having like a little toggle and we can click and the user can choose which mode they would want that in, let me know in the comments below and maybe we'll look at doing that in the next week or two if a lot of people think that would be pretty awesome. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. It's super cool, super easy to use. So I really do hope you liked it. And hopefully you can think of cool ways of implementing this in sites that you are working on. Thank you very much. Once again, for watching a huge thank you to my patrons. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you very much once again for the support that you do give me. If you haven't seen that series on custom properties, I do recommend you go check it out. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.